everybody, take out your calculator now. Let's start. Oh my god, I can hear the door opening. Who's that? Come on, there are two, Professor. Yes, you were one hour late. If you were that late again, don't even think about taking a step into my classroom. Oh, ah! Chalk, Mary, I'm going to log in. Some chalk got into my eye. Hello, Professor. Are you okay? What are you doing? Okay. You want to keep the water in your eyes for 15 minutes? I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to sit in the class. If you feel like you have a pain in your eyes. Okay, thank you so much. The incline has a coefficient of friction of about 0.3. Let's say that it's inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. Let's just disregard that for now. But, anyway, this has something, a force in front of it, FD parallel, and then a force behind it, which is FF. So, now, this, these are the two forces. So now, can somebody explain to me what FD parallel is and what FF is? Either way, you would get the same answer. I got the answer, Professor. Thank you, Aubergy. So, the correct answer was that is the force of friction in FG parallel one of the components of FG? The other component I will draw now is FG perpendicular, which is perpendicular to the plane. And we have FG over there. All right. So now these are the four forces, or if you count that skeleton FG, I drew five. And so now we have a um, mu K. And so we know that FG perpendicular is let's say uh, mg cosine data which is fg cosine data and we have fg parallel which is mg sine data or fg sine data all right so now we also know the force of friction the force of friction is equal to mu k or mu f which is the coefficient of friction times fn and we care about for, for fg perpendicular because fg perpendicular is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to f of n and so that means that we can, if we find FD perpendicular, we can find F of N, which allows us to find F of F. So we only care about the two forces which act in the direction of the acceleration for the most part, FF and FG parallel. And so now, how, what can we make an equation for? Well, let me just give you something. So what is Newton's second law? Can somebody tell me? Good, thank you. Well, you told us that that is equal to uh, the net force is equal to F equals MA. And so now what are the net forces? Well, we have F of F and we also have FD parallel. And so now that's all equal to MA. Now let's plug in. We know FD parallel or FF rather is mu K FF. So Let's get that over here, mu k f n, and then we subtract that for, for by um, m d sine theta. That's all equal to m a. Spot a common factor. That's right. It's m, the mass. We cancel out those two m's, thereby leaving us with mu k cosine theta, and then minus g sine theta. And so now we have a much more simplified equation so that's equal to all to n and now all we need to do is plug in so let's simplify so g mu k cosine data minus sine data i just factor out g for my convenience you don't have to and so now the thing is that this must mean that this Newton's second law is here. It is not going at a constant velocity, but rather there is some acceleration over here. So there is some acceleration. And so now all we have to do is plug everything in. So is there anybody in this crowd that has a calculator? Everybody, take out your calculator now. Oh my goodness, it's magnificent. All of the black blocks in your hands. So anyway, Let's plug everything in first so you guys know what you're supposed to do. So 9.81, then 0 0.3, and we know that the theta is 30, so we get cosine 30, and so, sorry, and then minus sine 30 is equal to, nine, uh, well, a. And so 
so now we have to find all of this and so we know that uh, cosine 30 is 0 0.866 so everybody take out your calculators plug everything in all right so let's see if we can get an answer over here so this is all equal to a sorry for forgetting to write that and so we are nearing the end of this lecture and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to, to take this thing we multiply 0 0.3 by 0 0.866 and then we multiply that by minus 9.81 remember it's a negative and so i can see all of you have a calculator right i think professor made a mistake i made a mistake earlier i put f of f in front of f of x or f perpendicular or parallel when in reality it was supposed to be f d parallel minus f f of f but anyway you'll so plug that in and you'll still get 2.36 meters per second squared the homework is to investigate what happens to the acceleration when you increase the angle from say 30 to 60 70 80 and then finally 90. and so what is the acceleration when the angle is 90 and can you tell me if it goes up or down that's the homework thank you see you tomorrow fear melenge